With more of the amazing video and the latest information, Bill, good evening. Well, Trace, the border crisis is literally coming to California shores once again, as a San Diego, uh, San Diego local tells me. He was just out in the ocean shooting some video on his GoPro when all of a sudden he noticed a boat speeding in his direction. Take a look at that video. Jack Enright tells me uh, he was at Marine Street Beach in La Jolla when this happened yesterday. The boat beaches itself in the sand, and then a group of suspected illegal immigrants jumps off and goes running off into a residential area. As you mentioned, these are multi-million dollar homes where talking about. It's unclear if they were ever caught. I'm still waiting to hear back from CBP, though. It is highly unlikely anybody ended up catching these guys. Fellas, 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 what are you doing? You didn't have to do all that. Right? You're crashing a boat into the beach and then running off into the neighborhoods. You could have just crossed the border. You understand? What are you doing? You, you, if any, again, if any American does any of this nonsense, you're going to jail for a very long time. There was no reason. They didn't have to do it. They could have just, just simply pulled up and got off the boat and walked away. Nobody was ever going to ask you questions. Hell, they probably would have given you a cell phone, um, somewhere to stay, some food, um, shelter, anything you wanted, anything you needed. Um, I know that was a the hell of an entrance, but I'm simple, son. I'm glad to see you come back. Uh, but they're crashing boats in and now jumping off? Uh, what is this, Cuba? 1986? Vice City? I, I don't understand. We as Americans need to start asking questions. Um, why didn't anybody know anything? Should have blown his boat out of the water. Did you not see it coming? Is nobody paying attention to who's on these boats? Or there's just random boats coming out from somewhere? Nobody tracked this boat? But we're going to continue. In the meantime, in the Big Apple, the NYPD is still on the hunt for four more illegal immigrants who they say were involved in a cowardly mob beating of two of their officers in Times Square over the weekend. The NYPD releasing these photos today showing several more of the illegal immigrants wanted for attacking two of their officers. You can see all of them were wearing hats. Several of them had hoodies pulled over. Five illegal immigrants have already been arrested and charged in connection with the attack, though four of them were released without bail in just a matter of hours. The four that were arrested should be sitting in Rikers right now, on bail, should be indicted this week and taken off our streets. You want to know why our cops are getting assaulted? There's no consequences. And we must change this. End of story. As you can see, all those culture and richers that we had on uh, the screen right there that attacked our police officers, they're walking free. You're not walking free. You're, you would be in jail for a very long time. Your ass would be sitting in jail for 15 years. None of us. No American ever gets that, that leisure. Unless you're extremely rich. We're kind of held hostage by, you know, everybody at the top. It's Joe Biden. It's his administration, his regime, his people, his underlings. Greg Abbott in Texas, you know, we can't expect him to save us. We can't expect anybody to save us. Until enough Americans stand up and say that this is just too, f uh, we've went too far. We've went too far left. Uh, we can't keep accepting people. We're running out of money. We're running out of resources. I mean, if you're telling me that we have enough resources, well, then you need to share it with American citizens. Our blood, our family's blood was spilt to, to protect this, right? I mean, how many residents of, you know, the United States are just willing to give up their place? And their money. Um, we're seeing that in Boston now, so uh, let's check this out. And over in Massachusetts, the governor is now taking a state-owned rec center in the city's predominantly black Roxbury neighborhood and turning it into a temporary migrant shelter, depriving the local community of a resource as the city of Boston has been completely overrun with migrants arriving in the city, some of which you can see here have been sleeping at Boston Logan Airport. And Trace, Texas Governor Greg Abbott says he will keep sending migrants to the sanctuary city. So far, he has bussed or flown over 100,000 migrants to sanctuary jurisdictions mm. all around the country. I'll send it back to you. Like I was just saying, they use your resources, your tax dollars, your spaces, your money, um, your cities. These sanctuary cities were just a bad idea. They were just breeding grounds for criminals. They gave up your spots, your your locations for your kids to have a rec center. For what? 
So so people could you know be pseudo homeless in in there. You know, who's going to pay to clean it up? Who's paying for the lights? Who's paying for the utilities? Who's paying for the water? Who's paying for this food? Is it NGOs? Um, are 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 the countries of origin going to to give stipends to the United States to take care of their citizens that they couldn't control? If our people were running across Canada's border, Canada would levy the United States to stop it. Uh, if we were sucking resources out of Canada, Canada would would petition the United States to pay that back. We do it all the time. I mean, if if American citizens wreak havoc across seas. It's some diplomatic diplomatic situation that tries to get rectified. Is anybody coming to, to rectify these issues? Is anybody ever going to uh, try to stop it? No, they're not because they don't care. They don't care. Their citizens are leaving. They're they're because a lot of them are probably corrupt and they're just extracting resources from their own people. But that's their problem. Their own people should stand up and, and fight back against their government. It's not up to us to take you in, protect you, give you our resources so what you can wave that flag of, of, of another country and talk about how bad we are because we didn't do enough. That's what you see. And, and, and I hopefully residents stand up like this young lady uh, in Boston. Uh, another clip from Fox News. Uh, they talked to her. She was a resident of Massachusetts. She, I think she, she brings it home and she, she, she puts it where it needs to be put. Let's take a look. I saw your outrage. Why are you outraged? Because this place was, like you said, it's free. It was a place for our children. Our children. I, I have four children, and it's sad. You know, I have four boys. You know, and. We really don't have nothing in the community that's free for us. Don't get me wrong, it's great that they want to help the immigrants, but what about the Americans that are already here? What about the people that are already here that don't have homes, that don't have jobs, that are sleeping on the street already? These people came from the airport here, probably on boats, probably on buses, and probably all for free. Now they're getting stipends, they're getting what else? I need money for me and my kids, and I was born here. Like, you know, I know life is a struggle in itself, but this is not the answer to help them. Now it's going to destroy our community more and mess our children up more. Like, this is sad. I know a lot of people don't even know about this. I came here last night with my aunt, saw a lot of stadies, a lot of police, and this paper wasn't there yet. They just did this probably two three in the morning when they brung them here when everybody sleep that's when they brung them here probably on buses i saw um, new york plates i saw washington dc plates so they have that much money to come from washington dc to do this to do that why are they not helping the people here first you see that, right? The truth is, they don't want you to see. They don't want you to see what they're doing. That's why they put up the paper. That's why they do it 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. That's why they don't tell nobody. Like that lady said, they didn't tell anybody that they were doing this. They didn't tell anybody they were bringing buses full of uh, illegal immigrants and God knows who into their city, into their rec center, giving them resources, giving them money and cell phones. Have you ever gotten that treatment? Have you ever gotten a treatment where like the government was like, Oh, we feel really bad. Let me give you a place to live. Let me give you, you know, communication devices. Let me give you money. Let me give you this. Let me give you that. No, they when when the 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 big COVID thing happened, right? The money that they were talking about giving out to people, they I mean, they debated the shit out of that money, right? Up to a certain point, they were like, oh, we shouldn't give nothing to nobody, right? But look at them now. They're, they're just handing the money out. It literally is our money. As much as people might not want to think, it's our money. At the end of the day, every every resource in this country belongs to every American citizen, right? If I if I went through the uh, the system to get you know brought into this country legally, if I went through the entire immigration system legally, paid all that money, waited all that time, I'd be pissed off. I'd uh, I'd probably ask for my money back. So uh, we need a lot of other people to stand up and say anything because certain people say things, then they're 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 finger wagged and just say you're trying to do some white supremacy nonsense when it's not that.
It has nothing, again, I've said this in previous videos, it has nothing to do with race. We've watched uh, the president of the Border Patrol agents even say it, they catch Eastern European white people coming across the border too. It has nothing to do with race. It's all about the security that you find in stopping everybody. Everywhere. If they were coming in th through our ports of entry from planes, you should stop the planes. That's, the, that's the, the conundrum we find ourselves in where our own people don't want to do anything because it, they're just petrified. They're so scared of what other people think. And uh, we're going to find ourselves even more and more into this molasses of nonsense. So we're going to keep going with this. Um, my name is Simple Sun. If you like the content, give me a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share this. Um, maybe you should call some of your local representatives. Uh, maybe do some investigation in your own city. See if uh, they're doing this. They're giving out your resources. And uh, message me back. If you do, I'll, I'll try to talk about it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Simple Sun out. Peace.